Hello and welcome to an EverQuest tier maker tier class tier thing. I don't know. I don't even know what to call this. I've never done this before. Uh, but I have gotten this question multiple, multiple times. Uh, what class is the best? You know, blah, blah, blah. It's all, it's all relevant. Like what duos go together? And, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go class by class and rank them based on my opinion. <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't like it. Uh, but, uh, we're going to start with like a solo and then we're going to do duo, uh, at the same time so this is uh tiermaker.com i think is the website i just searched for everquest and everquest class tier list so someone's already done this uh but here we go so let's start with uh shadow knight i am going to grab it right here shadow knight shadow knight is s tier <laughs> so uh why uh they are the best group tank i would say and they're capable to solo things outside of uh, outside of a group. Now, I'm not doing any of these rankings based on raid performance or anything like that. This is just your character and you're playing it, right? All right, so let's pick another one. Rogue. I'm gonna put the rogue in C tier. Rogues, just I don't know. I've I'm I have a 120 rogue. I'm just not happy with it. It's not as good as some of the other classes. It has some utility, but it just overall it does it's not it's not a solo class. You can't really do much by yourself unless you're farming lower level content. It's just uh not there. Alright, uh let's go with Bard. I'm gonna put Bard at A tier. Now, I would put them at, at, at the S tier, but they are not, they're not as good as the classes I'm going to put there. Uh, but Bard is a phenomenal class that is capable of soloing, grouping, and raiding. That matters, right? If you're uh, looking for a class that can get into any role, Bard is that class. Uh, let's see here. I have no idea what this icon is. <laughs> I think that's cleric. Uh, let's go with cleric, and I'm gonna put the cleric in in uh, C tier. I think that's cleric anyway. That's paladin, and that's warrior. Yeah, let's uh, cleric C tier. Why? Uh, clerics are very one dimensional. They only heal, and soloing and grouping. You know, like. Other classes can heal as good in a group situation as a cleric, and they get they bring more to the table, right? Like a shaman would be an example of a healer that brings more to the table. In a raid, clerics different story, but in this group based solo based kind of situation, uh, cleric is C tier. Uh, Necromancer S tier, obviously. <laughs> uh, probably the best solo class in the game. Maybe Shadow Knight can solo certain things better, but a Necromancer is going to just shrounce everything else. Uh, when it comes to solo, they are a absolutely behemoth monster class of absolute destruction. They are just crazy. Uh, they, they didn't, they nerfed them recently, so they do less damage, but, uh, overall they are just a phenomenal class. And if you want to be able to solo without any issue, 1 to 120, Necromancer is that class. And, da, 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 Enchanter, C tier. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, like, I don't know. In... In the late game, like, uh, you know, 100 plus, right? Crowd control can be avoided completely uh, in some cases, depending on what you're doing, right? And the mana regen buff lasts for so long, clarity and stuff, that you can get that from somebody else and never have to actually group with an enchanter. It's unfortunate, honestly. Uh, now, I don't have experience charming at 120 or anything like that. Lower end on a TOP. 
uh like level 60 charming you're you're best, that's s tier this is this is like live everquest uh it's just it's just not as valuable uh, i think at the the later game for at least my play style and uh, the way i play and you know these are my opinionated rankings here all right uh it's a hard choice I'm gonna go with monk. I'm gonna put the monk in. Oh, it's hard to say between A and B tier. I'm gonna say B tier right now. Uh, I need more experience with the monk to say to push them any higher. But my understanding is that they do less damage than a berserker on on ray. You know, on you know certain things, but. Overall, I find the monk class to be a very good class up until 100 so far, right? That's where I'm at, you know, and I think it's going to continue to be good. And, you know, maybe we'll revisit this if this is if this video goes anywhere, we'll revisit this and uh, maybe it'll be an A tier. Uh, I don't think a, ne a monk could hit S tier just because the the power difference between a monk and a shadow knight or a monk and a necromancer is horrifically different <laughs> so the, the you're, it's a big it's a big difference between these but uh they're still good i like them better than a rogue because you don't have to position yourself or anything like that and uh they have a lot of utility that is also nice that rogue, rogues have utility but it's Monk's just better. Uh, Shaman. I'm going to put Shaman in A tier. I would put them in S tier, but uh, I don't think they're there. I think Shamans are the best group healer. Uh, I think Shamans are uh, phenomenal uh, for boxing also. And uh, I've sold it a little bit with my Shaman, but not a whole lot. But they're, they're still pretty good. They're not as good as a Necromancer, but they're better than a, you know, everybody else below them, right? Solo-wise. So definitely uh, interesting there. But then their utility and their their all-aroundness brings them up higher, I think, than uh, everything else because it's just so good. Uh, let's see. Wizard... Uh, let's put wizard in D tier. Wizards are, I think, fundamentally broken in their current design. I've been doing research. I plan on playing a wizard in an upcoming series. And I've been trying to learn more about the class. And everything I've read, everything I've done research on, is they're just broken. Uh, the spells don't do enough damage. The mana's too high. You know, a lot of different problems. But... If any class needs needs any love, it's a wizard. And so let's just put them down there. Uh, Berserker, we're going to put them in B tier next to uh, a monk. And this is my opinionated view, remember. Uh, they can't solo as well as in, you know, the, the classes above them. Uh, they're good in a group, just like a monk. They're... You know high dps they have you know some usability issues like uh, the blindness and uh what's i think one of the ability roots you and stuff like that it's just you know it's not as fun to play in that style uh but uh, you know they're b tier uh let's see here mm, warrior i'm gonna put warrior in mm, it's hard choice <laughs> It's either B or C, right? And I think C right now. Uh, my I may revisit this, you know, later on. But in a group and in a solo game, where you know maybe you're boxing six characters solo, right? You know, I don't see the utility that a warrior provides to be better than the other two tanks, and the, that being Shadow Knight and. Uh, Paladin. <laughs> I couldn't even remember the name of it. Uh, Shadow Knight brings so much to the table in a solo and in a group situation that 
you're gonna want a Shadow Knight. Like if I'm if I'm boxing six characters and I'm not playing the warrior as a main character that I want to be playing, I'm gonna have a Shadow Knight. There's no story. No, there's nothing that's gonna change my mind there. Now, if I'm playing the warrior main and I want to, you know, do that, you know, like I want to say I want to raid tank for, you know, some guild, right? I'm going to want to have a warrior and I would build a, a group that supports a warrior around that, right? To, you know, make him so he can able do stuff and it's doable, but in a raid situation, that's completely different. And that doesn't really matter for what I'm talking about here because... Warrior is the best raid tank, but in a group and solo situation, they're lackluster when it comes to things, in my opinion. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to put Druid in, in C tier also. <laughs> everything, everything is going into C tier. I would probably put them lower. Like, the problem I have with a Druid is they have a lot of utility. They have a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, their, their toolkit is is wide but the problem is is they run out of mana so fast just doing normal stuff that they can't really do a lot of stuff like and it's it's kind of frustrating right like i'll duo my necromancer and a bard and the druid right the necromancer can almost stay at you know positive mana you know regen with this many people with bard song and all that whereas my druid doing barely anything other than you know dotting and uh you know just keeping the group buffed right i use mercenaries for healers so the the druid doesn't have to heal and it's still not even like chain nuking or anything like that i'm still having issues with mana regen and it's just it's painful and I would move them up to B tier if their mana regeneration problems get solved. Uh, maybe they could make it into A tier, depending on uh, some other changes. But they're uh, they're a good class. They're just they're not as good as a shaman. So, uh, mage uh, A tier. Mage is a phenomenal class. Uh, it is <laughs> insane how strong a mage is. Uh, they're not, I don't, I wouldn't say they're S tier when it comes to soloing, but, uh, you know, it's hard to beat a necromancer when it comes to this. Uh, it's just crazy how strong a mage is, especially depending on the pets and how you, how you play it and stuff like that. You, you're not going to die. And if you have a mercenary healer to keep your pet alive, you're, you're fine. Like I, I've done stuff with my 120 mage that I couldn't do with my necromancer solo and if mages had a little bit more utility like if call of hero did something for the mage like uh feign death does for a necromancer i would say mage is s tier no doubt but it doesn't it lacks that utility that pushes it above to the next level and in a boxing group situation mages are very easy to box like it's you could probably get it down to like two or three buttons if you wanted to and in a grouping situation they do great damage uh i haven't i haven't noticed them doing less damage than any other character uh i think i, I had a mage at one point i think it was at like 115 that was top damage in my groups and uh whatnot so it's definitely uh definitely worth doing um uh, uh, let's go with Paladin. I so uh, I don't think they're S tier. I don't think they're A tier, but I don't think they're C tier. So I think they're B tier. Uh, I think Paladin is a good tank. Uh, I feel like Paladins have little less damage than they they need. More damage is really what it boils down to. Uh, against undead, they have decent damage, but compared to like a Shadow Knight's damage, it's it's just like night and day in my experiences right uh my my experiences with paladin are not all the way to 120 so I, I can't make a confident decision on that but what i've seen in leveling and messing around with a heroic uh 100 paladin 
that is gonna go to 120. Uh, I feel like they're B tier. Like they they're they do damage, you know, they can tank, but they're just not there compared to a Shadow Knight. Uh, and I would say they're slightly better than a warrior in some most situations, so and they they have the ability to heal, which gives them a little bit of an advantage over certain situations where they can uh like say you're running uh mercenaries, you could maybe drop your healer mercenary and in certain cases to have more damage come from another mercenary. Uh, Ranger, 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 Ranger. Where do you go? Do you go A? Do you go to B? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think, I think it's going to be B. <laughs> I just don't feel like, uh, Rangers are an A tier plus, uh, class right now. Uh, they're good. They're a good melee class. And you'll you'll notice a lot of the melee are right here. Uh, it, rogues would be B tier too if, uh, you know, the, it wasn't for the positional aspect of their class. But uh, I find rangers to be fun to play. Uh, I've messed around with a uh, heroic one for a while. And uh, I'm, I'm going to actually be leveling a paladin plus a ranger plus an enchanter. So some serious low tier stuff, right? And I'm going to be leveling them all from 100 and uh, seeing how that goes. And that's going to be interesting um, to see how that works. Maybe the rankings will change, but from what I've seen from uh, 1 to 100 so far with the Ranger, I just don't think it's, it's a higher tier yet. Uh, maybe at max AA and raid full raid gear, they're like S tier, but... Uh, Without that stuff, they're not. All right, and finally, Beast Lord. I'm going to put Beast Lord in A tier. Uh, Beast Lord is a phenomenal class that is just extremely strong. And they have a pet to even back them up. I would say they're about as a par with a mage in most regards, right? They they can slow, so they kind of fight some of that mitigation that you they lose out on... Um, they don't have any ability to like lull or mez anything. So that's something that like the necromancer kind of has an advantage on, right? Because a necromancer can snare something, pull it, feign death, and they get a solo pull. Uh, mages, beast lords, they can't do that. Uh, so they have a little bit harder time breaking some spawns and stuff like that. So they're not, they're not up at that. The top tier but from a i have the mob i can kill it they're definitely a tier and they can do some serious serious damage uh with some of their abilities and definitely a class worth uh thinking about so so that's my current rankings and uh tier listing for uh for classes right and i don't know it, it, do you do you feel that i'm i'm on par do you feel i should go back and <laughs> read the books again you know what i mean like i don't know i think i think i'm pretty much on par with uh where i think the classes are this is my opinion from my experience uh I mean, I, you, you can make an argument that any of these classes could go up or down in any way, obviously, uh, depending on your opinion, but I don't know. This is where I'm at, and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me what would make that class go higher, and uh, we can go from there. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video with this same data set here that's going to be for duo classes uh, to kind of show some extra stuff but uh definitely uh definitely where i'm at so thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day